All right, hello, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be making it so that our ship here can fire projectiles. And the projectiles have the right orientation. They fire from where you would expect them to fire on the ship. And yeah, let's uh, dive right in. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, today, we're gonna to be adding our projectiles to our player ship. Now, to do this, the first thing that we wanna do is create sprites for what those projectiles are. So in the sprites folder, I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna create a new group. So add group, and I'm gonna call this projectiles. And then inside the projectiles, I'm gonna create a new sprite. And I'm gonna call this sprite uh, left shot, because the way that our ship is set up our ship has two little cannons here. It wouldn't make any sense if we were just firing one projectile from the center. We want to make sure that we're firing a left shot and a right shot. And for reasons that I'll explain as we go, we want those to be two different uh, sprites that we're going to use. So um, I'm going to call this first one SPR underscore left underscore shot. And then I'm going to import an image for this. And again, we're going to import the image from our uh, superpowers asset pack as soon as this decides it wants to work with me here. Okay, sorry about that weird cut. So we're going to import our image from our uh, superpowers asset packs. So inside Game Maker Studio, actually, I don't want it there. I think I did this in my documents, Game Maker Studio 2. We're doing solar winds here, space shooter, and I'm gonna grab from the shots. Now I want this to be the first type of shot that the player is able to fire. So I want it to be something that looks relatively underpowered. So I'm not gonna go with any of these bigger ones. I'm gonna save those for power-ups that we're gonna do. And instead I'm gonna grab this nice little one here, number four. So I want to, do, 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 yep. Now uh, what I wanna do to this to make it act the way it's supposed to is the center of the projectile right now is upper left. Now, if we leave it that way and we create it right where the player is, the projectile is gonna be created right here. I want it to be created up and there. So I want it to be, you know, so that it looks like it's coming from the cannon. So I'm gonna move that projectile a little bit. So instead of having it have its center at upper left, you can actually have its center be somewhere outside of the sprite itself, believe it or not. So uh, this one, I'm gonna put this at, let's say my origin for X is gonna be negative four. And then I'm gonna put my origin for Y at, let's try 16 to start. So that puts the origin of the sprite there which hopefully will make the sprite generate there. And so that I can differentiate this between any other shots, I'm gonna do another, rename this so it's SBR underscore left shot underscore one, because it's the first one that our player can use. And there we go. Now I'm gonna make another sprite, and I'm gonna call this one SBR underscore right shot one. And I'm going to import the same image. Yep. And instead, this is going to be on the right side. So I still want my origin to be negative 4. But instead of putting my, uh, my Y part down, I want my Y part up here. So I'm going to make that, let's say, 6. Uh, oh, no, sorry, negative 6, because I want it up. There we go. In Game Maker, if I haven't discussed this yet, Game Maker considers the upper left to be 0, 0. Anything that goes to the right is positive in X, to the left is negative on X, which is what you would expect it to be. But since Game Maker uses display conventions, anything that is down is considered positive on Y, and anything that's up is considered negative on Y. So if I want to move it four spaces left and six spaces up, it would be negative four, positive six, just like that. So I'm going to try that. I'm probably going to need to change this a little bit, but for now I'm going to say that's okay. So let's just close these sprites here, and I can close the player ship too. So now I'm going to create a new object for these. So 
I don't need to have two separate objects for the projectiles. Instead, I'm just going to create one, and then when I create it by hitting the fire button, I'm going to make it so that the ship tells the projectile which sprite to use, which is going to tell it uh, essentially where its center is going to be. So I'm going to create a new object. I'm going to call this obj underscore projectile. All right, so I'm looking at our projectile here. I am not going to set the sprite because I'm going to be setting the sprite when I fire it. That way I can have uh, different information in that sprite. I can use the same object for both the left and the right side. I'm going to add an event here, which is a create event. And this is just going to set some variables for our projectile. So I'm going to call this set projectile variables. And there's a few things I'm going to set in here. The first thing I'm going to set is the direction that I want the projectile to move in. So I'm going to say movement direction, which is a new variable I'm creating, is going to be equal to zero. So by default, the sprite is going to move to the right. I'm also going to set the speed. And by default, I'm going to set that to 20. Uh, this is just a random number. We can talk about how to make this uh, something that is less magic, something that's just not pulled out of thin air. But for now, for debug purposes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add another event here. And this is going to be a step event. Remember, step events are called every frame. And I'm going to call this movement. Now, what the step event here is going to do is going to uh, set the motion of the projectile. So motion set. And we want it to go in the movement direction. And we want it to go with whatever speed it has. OK, so there we go. We're going to save this. Now, I want to be able to hold down a key to fire, so I'm going to add a new event to my player. Add event. This is going to be key down, and since we're using space to break, I think it just makes sense to use alt for this. So I'm going to, for my description, this is going to be fire projectiles. And we're going to make this pretty general right now. We can change this later so that it's a bit more flexible as to exactly which projectiles it can fire. So you can fire different projectiles as the game goes on. So what we're going to do here is we're going to first create a new projectile. So I'm going to comment this out as I go. And comments in GameMaker are made by using these double slashes. So I'm just going to kind of comment out my logic so I know what I'm doing. So first, create a new projectile. And I'm going to do the left side first. I'm going to do that by creating a new variant, which is a variable that is only local to this particular uh, event. And I'm going to call it left shot. I'm going to say that left shot is going to be equal to instance create layer. If you're using GameMaker Studio 1.4, you can just use instance create. And you can see down here there's a little helpful hint that tells you instance create layer. You need an X position, a Y position, a layer to put it on, and then an object to create. Now, as far as that layer goes, if we look inside our room here, we have instances and background. We can reference that layer either by using its name, so quotations, capital I, instances, or by using its number here, starting with a zero. So this would be layer zero. If I added a new layer underneath background, that would be layer two, so zero, one, two, and you can have as many layers as you want. I'm going to use the, the name of the layer because I think that makes more sense. So jumping back to my workspace here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit too. Um, I'm going to create it at our ship's X position, our ship's Y position. The layer I'm going to create it at is instances, and in GameMaker Studio 1.4 you don't have to tell it the layer name. So it's just instance create. You just tell it the X and Y position and what object you're creating. So we're going to do X, Y instances, and we're going to do OBJ underscore projectile. Now, I want to do a few different things here for our projectile. So that's creating it. Next, I want to, oh, I forgot a comma between these. Next, I'm going to set the rotation of the sprite. So I'm going to say left 
actually let's before we set the rotation we want to set the rotation and the sprite so I'm gonna say left shot dot sprite index which is what sprite it's using is equal to and I named that SPR underscore left shot one then I'm going to set its uh, rotation. So left shot dot image angle is equal to the angle of the ship is equal to image angle. Um, and then I want to set the movement direction. Movement direction is equal to image underscore angle. And I think that's it. The speed should take it from there. Now I'm going to repeat this process for the right shot. So I'm going to grab all of this code. I'm going to copy it by Control or Command C and Control or Command V to paste. And I'm going to change all of these lefts to right. So this is going to be right shot, right shot, and then the sprite is going to be right shot one. This is right shot. And this is right shot. So there's an issue with how this is, or that's going to come up with doing it this way that we'll talk about in just a minute. I forgot a T there. There we go. But for now, I want you to actually see what that is so you can understand the problem. So we're going to save this. And let's go into play mode here. And let's see if there's any other errors I made. All right, cool. That's good. So. It's kind of cool. Now, the problem is this is firing probably way too fast, way too many. So what we want to do is we're going to create a new variable that's going to tell it when it can shoot. And we're going to only allow all of this to happen when can shoot is possible. And then we're going to set a new type of event called an alarm, which is going to reset can shoot to true. So in our create method here, I'm going to say can shoot equals true. So we're going to start being able to fire in my alt here. I'm going to encapsulate all of this inside of an if then statement. So if can shoot is equal to true. Now you don't need to do that double equals there. You can just say if can shoot and in programming it knows that you mean if it's true. And I'm going to encapsulate all of this code inside curly braces. I'm going to highlight it all and press tab to move it over one so that I know that it's inside of a brace. Now at the end of firing here, I'm going to say can shoot equals false. So we're setting it false after we uh, fire. Now I'm going to add a new event. I'm going to add an alarm. And this is going to be alarm zero. For alarm zero, this is going to be used to reset the ability to shoot. And then all this is going to do is just set can shoot equal to true again, so that we can fire again from alt. Now the last thing I need to do is set the alarm. And setting the alarm, I would just do alarm zero is equal to, and then a number of frames I wanted to use, understanding that 60 frames is one second. So I'm just going to say 15, which is one fourth of one second. So I'm going to save that. And let's hit play. And let's try this out. All right. So that's a little bit better. The speed. Of the projectiles is a bit high probably. I probably want them down like around 18, which is one of the problems with using a magic number like this. I'm gonna go actually 17. I want them to be faster than the ship and if I remember correctly the ship has a speed of 16 so I want them to be faster but I don't want them quite that fast. So let's save this and let's try this again. And Okay, so the projectiles aren't too bad. 
I want my projectiles to fire a little bit faster than that though. So I'm going to go to Alt, and to make them fire faster, I'm going to change this alarm from being 15 frames to being 5 frames. And that's going to make it fire faster. If I wanted it to fire more slowly, I would change it from 15 frames to say 30 frames. And let's hit Run here. So yeah, there we go. We got our projectiles firing nicely. That's not too bad. And now we've got, we can even like, I don't know, do trick shots or something. So that we're, this actually feels pretty good already. And then we've got our break and our, our backup. So uh, what we're going to be covering next is we'll add a little bit of polish to this by adding uh, a little contrail behind the ship when it moves, but not when it doesn't. And what else will we do? Then we will start getting the camera to follow the ship around, and then we'll start actually building up our world here. So, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments down below. You can follow me on Twitter to find out when I post new videos. Uh, you can join my Discord. Tons of really cool people there who are knowledgeable about Game Maker, who are willing to help out, including me. Uh, shout out to Faker and Sir Psycho Yeah in the Discord for being just like the best mods anybody could ask for. Um, yeah. If you have any questions, let me know. Oh yeah, and I have a Patreon. I'll link to that in the description. As little as a dollar a month really helps me keep putting these videos out. So if you enjoy and you're able to, consider uh, contributing. If you're not able to, then maybe you can give the video a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, just go nuts on those buttons down there. Otherwise, I hope everybody out there has themselves a wonderful day.